Have you seen the prices of wedding dresses these days? On average, they're almost $2,500. Rental companies cost hundreds or thousands of dollars just to borrow one. Even thrift stores are charging wild prices for used wedding gowns. So what are the best? And the worst. What? Because you know you want to see the bad ones, the cringy ones. Why would we? Because it's fun. Okay, well, uh, today we're going to find the best, the worst, and the cheapest options out there. I'm on a mission to find $50 wedding dresses that don't suck. Starting with... I don't know, I just thought that ASOS might have something for us. And turns out they have a bridal section. Turns out it's not as affordable as I thought. Wait. Are the 80s poof sleeves coming back in because there's like a strange amount of these statement sleeves happening right now? I mean, most of these are in like the three, four hundred dollar range. Let's go lowest price. See, now these are bridesmaids dresses, not what we're looking for. Yeah, we don't even start seeing wedding dresses until 160. I'm out of here. The next place that I thought might have some good ones is Lulu's. They also have a whole little wedding section here. Look how pretty these are. I think these ones are way prettier than the ASOS ones. Like that. That's actually kind of similar to what my wedding dress actually looks like. <laughs> $200, $300, we're getting closer. I don't know, I don't know anything about Lulu's to be honest. Are they trustworthy? Like are these actually their pictures or are they one of those websites? Because the detail on some of these, too expensive. Next. Surprisingly, Amazon didn't have that much. At least not that was prime and that legitimately looked like a wedding dress. But there is one. She's got almost 2,500 ratings. $87.99. Liked to Page is the brand. Woman's Lace Mermaid Bridal Wedding Dress. Look at this beauty. It's just your classic lace mermaid wedding gown. Look at all the colors it comes in. You get a black one. <gasps> if I could get married all over again, a million percent I would pick a black dress. <laughs> it also comes in red. I think dark red could also be super cool for a wedding. I don't know about in this dress though. It would have to be something like really extravagant. So we've got sizes two through 26. Here's what I love about Amazon though. We can go to the reviews before we buy it. Specifically the review photos. How does this actually look on people's wedding day? I wanna know. Oh wow, it looks really pretty. You'd never guess, honestly, that it's from Amazon. <laughs> yes, somebody did the black dress. Honestly, every single person looks amazing in it. I'm not sure if they did alterations to it at all, but you could tell me she paid $2,000 for it and it would have fooled me. But you know we have to test it out ourselves. It's here. It feels a little bit small. Like that's supposed to be a wedding. Is this the right thing? Oh, it definitely is. Why is it so thin? This is like the ultimate elopement dress though. I think this came literally overnight. Flip it the right side. It's so lightweight compared to the other wedding dresses that I've bought. <laughs> Heck is that? Tyler, you get to lace another dress. Okay, this is gonna be cute. I'm interested to see if it fits well because like the designer high-end wedding dresses all run super small. I don't know how this one's gonna be. Oh no, it's gonna be too small. You have pants on. Don't take them off. It's almost off. <laughs> Cross your legs. Why? Like that. Why did that help? Why did you know that that would help? I don't know, it's, just, it's math. Geometry. <laughs> okay, it's on. What did the, someone in the comments said it was supposed to, you're supposed to start at the top or the bottom? What the, they say? uh. Lean forward. I am. Done. Dang, looks pretty good. Does it fit all the way or is my skin showing in the back? No, that's all, that's good. You're good to go. Um, it does smell like formaldehyde. <laughs> I probably shouldn't put stuff like this on my skin without washing it, but it's fine. Oh, the belt. Why is there so much extra ribbon? Just tie it in a bow. Okay, I'll tie it in a bow. Oh, see, it's like a whole new dress with this on it. It's a lot of ribbon back there. I don't know if that's what's supposed to happen. I mean, I think it's pretty nice. Like we established, it looks pretty good in video and in picture. Obviously, it's not like the craziest good quality. It's not a very like heavy material. The lace is already snagging in some spots. It's a little bit of a train. That's nice. Have to complete the look with our $19.99 bail. I think this is like a full length one. Yes! Oh, I was hoping it would be this long. Yes! Wow, I'm so impressed. The lace at the bottom matches the dress so well. This is a really good little look for a hundred bucks. This is gonna be hard to beat. Although it's not the statement that the black dress would have been. I actually got an extra good deal on these next dresses because 
I had a secret weapon. It's called Honey, the number one shopping tool in America and number one in my heart because it has saved me so much money. It's a little button at the top of your browser that automatically searches for promo codes on a lot of your favorite websites so that you don't have to. Recently, I had to buy a whole bunch of new makeup and Honey saved me $51.40. That's like two or three free mascaras. And it found me a $20 coupon for one of the orders that I'm about to show you. Honey can save you money on everything from makeup to clothing to home goods. And the best part is it is totally free. You're already buying this stuff, so why not save a little money? Plus it's fun when the little dancing koi guy pops up and tells you that he found savings. It's like a little rush. Honey finds discounts of 18% on average. You can add it to your browser for free at joinhoney.com slash hope. Getting it through that link is a huge support to me, so if you do, thank you so much. Thanks, honey, for sponsoring today's video. Back to the dresses. 88 bucks was a good deal, but I wanna see if we can go cheaper. Listen, I hear you. I've gotten so many comments about the Shein wedding dresses. Is it a new thing? Have they not always had wedding dresses? So we're gonna check them out. Shein dresses, wedding dresses. Mm, they're not bad. I'm not seeing any so far that I necessarily think are good, but <laughs> no, that one's kind of cool. This is with the statement sleeves again. All right, you know what we gotta do. Sort price high to low. What's the best they've got for me? This one's too hocus pocus. This one's okay. This one, don't like the tutu situation going around the top on this one. Honestly, just overall, I'm not that impressed. And I think we can do better for under $100. We're headed to Fashion Nova next. This could be either really good or really bad. Or both. Or both. Dresses, wedding dresses. Okay, wedding and bridesmaid are in separate categories. That's a good sign. <laughs> Half of these don't even look like wedding dress. Like, no one's getting married in that. No offense if you got married in that. But these prices though, we haven't seen these prices anywhere else. $36, $40. What's the cheapest one? The cheapest Fashion Nova wedding dress is only $19. Here it is. The statement moment velvet mini dress. Oh, it's velvet. Oh, wow. That is not a wedding dress. <laughs> well, it's like a bachelorette party dress. How see-through is it though? It's pretty see-through. Really? Oh no, look, you can see all my, my whole underwear. Also, it's shedding everywhere. Don't ever buy feather dresses from Fashion Nova. I mean, there's a reason this was the cheapest dress on the website. What section is that in? The wedding dress section. Okay, that's the least expensive dress. But what's the least expensive actual gown? Like full length, walking down the aisle. Everyone you know is there. Oh, I'm, like, I'm kind of excited for this one. Ooh, nightlife bandage maxi dress. It's that like thick knit fabric that I actually love. Oh my goodness, look at the front of it. This was only $32.40 and so far, that's this is pretty nice for that price. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like on though. Okay, wait, I think I love this one. <gasps> Wait, I actually really like it. It's cool. Um, the fabric's nice, even though it's a little sheer. Feathers and white, I guess, aren't Fashion Nova's forte. But like the structure of the top is actually really nice. There's a wire that goes all the way around the inside. Should we see how it looks with the veil on? Wow. I mean, for 32 bucks, <laughs> I kind of love it. What are you gonna do with these? You don't want to marry me? <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. Another category is bestseller. I'm interested to see what that is. Mm. Okay, this is the very best seller. At least it's a wedding gown because technically the best selling ones were more like clubbing dresses or like going for a picnic dresses. But this actually looks like a wedding dress. At least it did in the pictures. The selling looks satin maxi dress. Ooh. Why didn't I realize the straps looked like that? This was $48.59. I mean, I love the straps and I like the silk. I don't know why, but I've never really thought about a silk wedding dress, but it's very elegant and timeless. I like the mesh under the arm here and there's some mesh right here. I can see why this is the best seller because I feel like this one could be used for a variety of events. Not bad for $50. This one is double lined. You know what we've got to do next. We got to find the worst seller. We got to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Live for tonight, satin maxi gown. This was 48.59. 
There it is. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's pretty cheap looking. <laughs> no, it literally feels like Halloween costume material. I already hate this one. <laughs> it's too long. You can feel every sequin through the mesh. And the corset's fake. These are just like strips of fabric. So there's not really any support or structure to it. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would be fun for like a photo shoot. Okay, this next one, I have to get it simply because I want to. Because it looks really intricate. And has feathers. Most elegant sequin maxi dress. I'm not really getting wedding dress vibes from it. I'm getting like 20s flapper dresses. I don't know. I don't know. It was 59.39. Ooh, okay. I feel like I'm about to accept an award in this one. I actually really like this one. I thought that the feather placement was gonna be weird. I mean, it is, but what do we think? Oh yeah. Now I see it. I don't know, the sequins under the arm. If you're wearing this all day, you're gonna be rubbed raw. Price high to low. What is the most expensive wedding dress Fashion Nova has to offer us? And it still wasn't bad. It was $91.79 for the her special day gown. <laughs> it's an all lace one. And I'm interested to see how this one compares to the Amazon one because kind of a similar price, similar style. Oh no, I didn't expect it to be like gaping open in the front. What is happening? It's not what I was expecting at all. I mean, in theory, I like the idea of the nude mesh lined to kind of create the illusion that it's just a fine layer of lace but dang, I really thought this would be the best one. But surprisingly, we did have a couple winners for under $100. As for what I'm doing with all of these, I'm giving them away next week on my Shop Hope Scope Instagram page. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because we are trying to pass Kim Kardashian in YouTube subscribers. And when you do, I'm gonna buy you something from her closet. Leo and I picked out some other videos down below that we thought you might enjoy and we will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.